Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Rad Kutzarot and this is going to be Libro Sun, Libro Moon and uh, Libro Rising weekly tarot reading April 15th to uh, April 21st, 2019 and uh, as I'm shuffling the cards, I want to remind you once again guys that this is going to be a general reading for Libra uh, star sign and for that reason the reading itself is going to relate to different things and is going to resonate, resonate in a different way with every single different Libra. If you want, however, your personal situation to be analyzed by me through Tarot and to uh, give you uh, what is going to, to tell you what is going to happen with it, uh, with your situation uh, in the future, that is a subject of a private reading. And uh, for such, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and $15 for the private call readings. So that being said, starting with the Libra first card, which is marking the topic of your Libra's week, that is going to be the Eight of Wands, followed by the second card, which is the negative approach toward the situation, that is going to be the Ace of Cups. Then it is the third card, which is the positive approach toward the situation that is going to be the temperance. And the last one, it is the final outcome of growth. Should you follow the guidance of Tarot, these two cards here, the advice of these two cards, that is to be the Ten of Wands. So once again, Eight of Wands, followed by the Ace of Cups. Then it is the Temperance card, and the last one that is going to be the uh, Ten of Wands. So uh, it seems that you are to have quite of a, a dynamic week. So I don't know how to really explain it. You are going to have way too many things on your head already. And uh, as just you thought that you do have enough, Eight of Wands manifests. So what Eight of Wands usually means is that, um, well, needless to say, a lot of speed, meaning a lot of dynamic, and also quite a lot of openings. Or like you can take it as, as you go along with your week, every day you are going to have a um, new enterprises to work on. Now, uh, these new enterprises, however, are going to be just only add up, a stack up on the already current ones that you are doing. So in this case, the Eight of Wands does not appear itself as an opportunity to further your goal, but it appears for additional options available, should I say it that way. Now, the thing with the Eight of Wands, however, guys, is that one should approach those options available for a, um, with, uh, how can I place it, with a clear-headed mind, uh, because it will require quite a lot of, um, how do you call it, smart moves, or rather calculated moves, one to do in order to take advantage of those options available, because otherwise, is going one risks to, to lose everything that they have fought for until this very moment. As the Eight of Wands, the opportunities with that card usually comes as high risk, high reward type of thing. And if one is impulsive rather than um, smart, so you gotta approach them smart, in a smart way, uh, then one could actually do more harm than good to oneself, that is. But apart from that, the week is going to be, like I said, quite dynamic one. And um, if you feel like your life is stuck and doesn't move anywhere, well, this week, uh, your life is going to be set on stir. So uh, as I said, that is going to be a stack up with the Ace of Wands. This is an, an additional gaining for enterprise that comes around is going to happen spontaneously here with these couple of cards out of nowhere seemingly and the thing with these couple of cards guys is that is go is going to go by with the flow if one doesn't seize it therefore one needs to have or you libra need to have an acute awareness of um of openings or of opportunities throughout this week so one should not be hesitant um with their 
with their manifestation, if I may express it that way. Now, additionally to that, taking advantage of this opportunity with the Ace of Wands, it seems that it will require you to pushing yourself above your limits, as the Eight of Wands does represents uh, utilizing um, a skill, knowledge, or capability of one that it is yet slumbered. So you haven't either you haven't worked at that thing or, or kind of like you you haven't utilized on this skill of yours for a quite a while it became a little bit rusty all right but now you will have the full opportunity to do so. so let's say i don't know that you can do quite good analysis but until this very moment you work something else like I don't know, in the uh, real estate agency, all right? And currently, and an opportunity for a private job to make an analysis comes around, so you become rusty, you are rusty in it, and you have to hang, get the hang of it very, very fast. That's why you gotta approach the situation in, this, in a smart way. Now, the thing is that uh, with the Ace of Cups on a negative position, probably this, these opportunities, whatever those opportunities are, are not going to be what you hope for. So let's say it that way, you are hoping for a, uh, an, an opportunity into your current job or an opportunity in your current relationship or with the current person that you are having interest in. in. All right, and this Eight of Wands manifests itself in a completely different, uh, different field. So basically, with the Ace of Cups here, Libras, uh, this opening that you are going to have, it's not going to be in the field that you want that opening to happen. That is with the Ace of Cups. And that's why, as a negative card, the Ace of Cups points that you may fall a little bit into spirit, all right, so feel a little bit poignant that you don't have the opening you want and therefore and however excuse me that you do have any kind of opening and that's why you may feel yourself apprehensive to to take advantage of it it's because it's not what you wanted or seemingly that you want it but uh with uh, the uh, with the eight of wands and the ace of wands it is quite advisable for you at least to make your research about it at least to try it out because um it's a very promising combination there are the eights of wands and the ace of uh, and the ace of wands i truly can force a a so needed new beginning let's say it that way uh, it could be a proposition for a new job which is not the job that you hope for but yet it's a new job all right or it could be an, an uh, interactions with a person that it is not the person you want but yet it is a person that you do have a, a good potential with it is what I'm trying to say here. The accompanied card that is going to be the Eight of Pentacles. So the formation here, it is a passive friends. And Eight of Pentacles, it does point with the Ace of uh, Cups. That's, uh, how can I place it? Well, uh, that you should not be uh, way too attentive to the uh, to the negative sides in the sense of the, well, how can I place it really? Uh, because it is not what you wanted oh well i will say it that way because that opportunity it is what it is not what you hope for but yet it appears as an opportunity in front of yourself you may look at it from the downside this is what the ace of Pent uh, the uh, eight of pentacles here um represents that you may look at more on the downsides rather than on the upsides and uh, that's why you you need to have that key in mind libras you need to be analytic and you need to be logical throughout this week not emotional the ace of cups represents emotions and it is and it is in the negative side of the spectrum so do not be emotionally impulsive but rather think carefully before you act especially when it comes to those openings because they can promise you great things even if it is not at least as manifestation this week something that you hope for but it could be something quite peripheral let's say you're trying to find yourself a job as an IT specialist all right but another job present itself to you like I said as a uh, anal uh, anal analysis type of, uh, of a job person okay uh, should you pass on it I don't think so I mean why don't you try it out and see how it works for you it may work for you very very well that is so do not my, my point here Libras is that no matter how um, 
it's not the world is not bad i'm sorry guys it's kind of like i'm i'm a bit numb today with uh, with my english uh but rather uh unwanted yeah it's it's unwanted a an opportunity comes around uh, it is best to take it as it is some form of an, an opportunity rather than to sit on one place and hoping that someday someone uh, somewhere a what you want is gonna come around so that being said um, <clears throat> If let's say that you are a single girl, if a guy approaches you and if there is a, a little bit of a, a shred of empathizement in between you and him, give the man a chance. You know, same, same thing goes if you are a, uh, if you are a guy and a, a woman approaches you or shows interest in you. It may not be the type of woman that you usually go after but why don't you give her a chance and see where that thing leads you and uh, this is why we do have the third card here liberal which is uh, the uh, temperance card and uh, the temperance shows a, a balanced position and in your case it shows consideration of things or of a um, <clears throat> criteria undertakings and in general opportunities that you couldn't that you did not excuse me considered until this very moment the temperance represents the independence of one opinion and as well the independence of uh, of um of one's points of view and also this represents how one is capable to tackle with chores or in this case with unwanted type of opportunity it's not really unwanted damn it i don't know how to uh how to really say it but and an opportunity which one hoped for be, to be a different one okay so you didn't want this one but this one it came around you prefer to have another one i don't know in my language you do have a specific word for that when you do have something that you hope to be something different but it's nonetheless a an opportunity so it is bet it is better take it okay so that kind of a thing and uh, with the temperance here libra it will be advisable for you no matter no matter how unprepared you are because you're going to be unprepared i mean you're expecting one thing to happen and instead of that thing to happen in this field something different improves and you will have to attend to it straight away so with the temperance here it does point that you need to uh you need to take advantage or you should excuse me take advantage of this unexpected stirring opportunity that manifests itself in a field that you haven't expected and the accompanied card here this is going to be the empress so the formation is uh, active neutrals that we do have and basically the empress points that you shouldn't think twice about it i mean if you do have something gaining for that comes around because it's going to be gaining for right so if there is something gaining for that comes around obviously uh you will need to uh, you will need to make your move as the empress this represents detachment of one's uh, of midst of activity while one is a uh opting to to make a decision should one invest or should, or, or should one does not invest but if you do take the middle road what i mean is being balanced not being outbursting emotionally and as well adopting the um the balance strategy where you invest just in or step in with one leg while leaving your other leg outside ready to just bail out if things go sideways um then there is nothing uh in jeopardy then there is nothing that's to be jeopard jeopardized into your uh into your environment now with these cards the way i see it uh here throughout this week libra uh it seems that uh, it will be an addition what i mean is that this uh, opening or this stirring of situations is not going to liberate you from the plights difficulties projects and the relationship that you currently have meaning um <clears throat> To give you an example of that, let's say that you're toiling over this really, really tough project, all right? And another opportunity for another project comes around. So if you decide to take it, which is advisable here, uh, then you you will have to simultaneously tackle with both. It's, you are not gonna make a substitution one over another. That is what I'm trying to say. So probably you hoped 
for a an opening in the current project that you are that you are toiling toiling excuse me and instead you are going to have an opportunity to start additional thing but not an opportunity to uh, make your life easier in the current endeavors so that is an addition it is what i'm trying to say here addition that you shouldn't think much of taking on because it's going to be like a, a safe haven for you i mean even if that thing you're toiling over and you're experiencing difficulties uh, over doesn't work out for you you are going to have something different to uh to look forward to and um as a result of all that, we do have the Ten of uh, Wands. So with the Ten of Wands, uh, you are to find out at the end of the week that what you thought is kind of worthless because this is how you're going to approach it. You'll say, nah, okay, I guess we'll do, you know, it's not what I hoped for, but I guess it's going to do for now. So you are to approach this uh, opportunity with quite of a skepticism here. And at the end of the week with the Ten of Wands, should you follow here the guidance of Tarot, you are to uh, realize that this is quite of an, an extraordinary and amazing opportunity for yourself. Now it's going to require a lot of devotion though. With the Ten of Wands, it, it will require heavy time investing in it. And as well, um, a lot of uh, attending to the minor details because the Ten of Wands represents how one obeys the rules of the game and how one pleases others. So this um, unfoldment of this new undertaking of your behalf, either new relationship, you know, uh, um, <clears throat> or a, a new project at, uh, at your behalf, it will require you pleasing other people or you pleasing the person you want to be with or you pleasing your boss that gives you uh, this project. The thing with the Ten of Wands is, however, is that this thing is going to pay off. As a card of growth, you can see how big the fruits of your labor here are going to be with the Wands cards and as well the authority that you are going to obtain through that and uh, the power as well because the wand is a uh, symbol of power to a point where it's going to be really difficult for you to actually um, maintain it's not like maintain but control all these benefits i mean there are going to be so many that you will have a hard time uh, utilizing all of them and the accompanied card here that is going to be the the uh, knight of uh, the knight of swords so at that point, it seems that you will have to make uh, some sort of a, uh, a decision which needs to be this time around, however, consulted with your emotions. So emotions need to come into play only, you know, when you see, uh, when you fit in the scheme of this new enterprise, of this new beginning, of this new relationship, or of this new undertaking here. And when you see that you fit in it and uh, you kind of like start seeing the fruits of your labor and um, you fit in the plan, then you actually incorporate your emotions. And with the Knights of Wands, it's gonna be so easy for you to make uh, a decisions according to your emotions, meaning in a harmonious way. So um, let's say that, well, Put it simply is that uh, you will attend after that stage here only to those things which makes you feel happy to attend. Therefore, if that is a, about relationship, this relationship will move on according to your rules. Okay, so whatever you find amusing to be done, this is what is going to be done. Same thing goes with the project itself, if that is about career or if uh, it's about a new job, is that you will have the freedom to decide how to move on from there, which projects you are to, uh, you are to do or how you are to approach a certain project. For the reason being that with the Ten of Wands, like I said, this card gives authority, this card gives as well power, it does give positions and and simply those who gives you the work or those who gives you the job or those who invest in you in a term of relationship will uh, have a big faith in you and as well they are going to entrust you with um, with either the project or the relationship itself and you will have to show yourself quite decisive of uh, what you want from all this to happen 
So uh, that being said, just to summarize uh, the reading here, Libra, be uh, ready for the unexpected or expect the unexpected here for throughout the week and don't think twice when it comes around, guys, because it may turn out to be once in a lifetime opportunity for you. So yeah, that being said, this was your weekly tarot reading for April 15th to April 21st, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, as a general reading, it's going to relate uh, to different stuff and it's going to resonate in a different way with every single different Libra. But should you want a, a private reading in which we are going to uh, discuss your personal situation through tarot and I will tell you what is going to happen with it in the future, you can check out my website listed down below in the description in this video. And uh, there you're going to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricing starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and $15 for the private call readings. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.